This video will give instructions on how to fill out the 2018 Southeast Regional Institute on Deafness or CIRID Conference Call for Papers form. This is the first page of the Call for Papers form. The CIRID 2018 conference called Taking the Reins takes place October 11th through 15th, 2018 in Louisville, Kentucky. The Southeast Regional Institute on Deafness, CIRID, strives to further develop the knowledge and skills of vocational rehabilitation personnel, health professionals, employers, consumers, educators, and other persons interested in issues and relevant topics impacting individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, deaf blind, and or late deafened. We welcome proposals that further the field by sharing research, best practices, and examples of effective work. A primary goal of CIRID is to encourage collaboration among professionals. Workshop sessions will be 1.25 hours in length. Those wishing for more time should indicate in their session abstract if they would need a two-part session to share their topic. Presenters are encouraged to tie in the theme of taking the reins. If you are completing this form using the computer, you can press the down arrow key to move to the first field to fill in on the form. It takes about 11 presses of the down arrow key to get to the first field. You can also use your mouse to click into the first field. The first section on the form to complete covers information about the primary presenter. The section is located about one third of the way down the first page. If you have not already used the down arrow key or mouse to get to the first field, you should do so now. The first field that you will complete is the last name field. The correct field is highlighted in yellow on the screen. It is also enlarged in the oval on the bottom right corner. In the box, type or write your last name. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for your first name. Type or write your first name here. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for your email address. Type or write your email address here. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for your phone number, text number, or VP number. Type or write the number that should be used to contact you in this space. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for additional presenter names. 
type or write the names of any individuals who will be presenting with you. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for a brief biography of each presenter, which will be used in the program book. Type or write a brief biography for each presenter in this space. Please limit each biography to a maximum of 100 words. This is the last field on the form dealing with information about the primary presenter. You will need to use the down arrow key two times to move to the next area to complete on the form. This area deals with information about your proposed session. The first field in this section, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for the title of your session. Type or write the title of your session in this space. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for the target track for your proposed session. The first target track is for mental health and substance abuse. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible target track. This is the track for education and STEM topics. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible target track. This is the track for communication access topics. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible target track. This is the track for vocational rehabilitation topics. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible target track. This is the track for transition topics. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the last target track. 
This is the track for special populations topics. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If your presentation will cover a topic in this area, press the space bar. Press the down arrow again to move to the next field. This is the session abstract field. You should type an abstract of your topic in this area. Please limit your response to a maximum of 50 words. This is the end of page one of the call for papers form. Pressing the down arrow again will move you to the second page of the form, which is displayed on the video. This is a continuation of the session information topic. The first field on the second page is for a summary of your presentation. This field at the top of the second page is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You should type or write a summary of your presentation that is a maximum of 300 words in this space. Press the down arrow to move to the next field. This field is for a list of three learning objectives. This field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You should type or write a list of three learning objectives for your presentation. The learning objectives are necessary for continuing education units or CEU applications. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for you to identify the CEUs that will be appropriate for your proposed session. The first CEU type is for CRCC credits. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer CRCC credits for your session, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible CEU type. This is for RID. CEUs. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer RID credits for your session, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the next possible CEU type. This is for social work CEUs. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer social work credits for your session, press the space bar.
press the down arrow to move to the next possible CEU type. This is for counseling CEUs. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer counseling credits for your session, press the space bar. Press the down arrow to move to the last CEU type. This is for other types of CEUs. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer a different type of credit, press the space bar. You will enter the type of credit in the next field. Press the down arrow to move to the CEU field that will allow you to fill in the other type of CEUs that you are requesting for your presentation. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer a different type of credit, type the name of that credit here. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for you to identify the language that your proposed session will be presented in. The first language is American Sign Language or ASL. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer the presentation in ASL, press the space bar. Press the down arrow key to move to the next language, which is English. The field is highlighted in yellow and enlarged in the oval on the bottom right hand corner. If you want to offer the presentation in English, press the space bar. Use the down arrow key to move to the next field to complete. This field, which is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval, is for you to identify any additional comments or requests for the interpreting team. You should complete this field if you wish to make additional comments. Pressing the down arrow key again moves to the technology needs and room setup section of the form. Each room will be equipped with an LCD projector and an internet connection. Presenters are expected to bring their own laptop. If a Mac will be used, the presenter must provide the RGB converter. You will need to press the down arrow four times to move to the next field to complete. This is the field where you can indicate if you want to have an easel and flip chart and or a dry erase board in your room. If you would like to have a flip chart or dry erase board in your room, you should press the space bar and then the down arrow twice.
if you do not need a dry erase board or flip chart in your room, you should press the down arrow, then the space bar, and then the down arrow one more time. The next field to complete allows you to list any additional needs for your room setup. This field is highlighted in yellow above and enlarged in the oval at the bottom right of the video. You can enter any additional needs in this field. Pressing the down arrow one more time will bring you to the submission section of the form. Please submit completed call for papers as a PDF or Word document and required attachments to chair at CIRID.org, C-H-A-I-R ampersand S E R I D dot O R G. Put workshop proposal in the subject line. Questions before the deadline can be directed to Janice Friend, whose email is J K F R I E N D five seven five at G M A I L dot C O M or Tricia Davis whose email is T D A V I S four zero four seven five at G M A I L dot C O M. They are the program committee co chairs. The deadline for submission is April 30, 2018. Applicants will be notified when their application is received. They will be informed of the status no later than June 30, 2018. The address to mail the application to is P.O. Box 899, Frankfurt, Kentucky 40602 dash 0899, or you can submit the application by email to chair at CIRID.org, C-H-A-I-R ampersand S-E-R-I-D dot O-R-G. The website for CIRID is www.SERID.org. O-R-G.